Alright, so got the car running finally, and first thing you do, remove the snow. And then we're going to pull it in the garage and pretty much get it ready for uh, track days and drift days. Just get it all put back together. I always forget that my mic and my camera have different power buttons. So what I was doing here is just checking the uh, sensors and everything, running the car. wanted to uh, go ahead and retime it. So... I have to go on the computer and select fixed timing. 20 degrees is usually what you set it at. So I got my timing light set up. And then down here you got the pin that lines up with the marks on the crankshaft pulley. I have these uh, wires going all the way to the battery in the back, so it's kind of... Alright guys, we got her timed. The RPM gauge isn't reading as well as it should, it's saying about 700, but we've got about 1400 to 1300 average. Everything's reading good, AFRs are good, I've got a good amount of vacuum. Oil pressure still needs... I don't know if the oil pressure is reading accurately or not. It's reading okay. I think it, the ground needs to be adjusted. Got my kids playing. Sounds pretty good though. Not too bad. Cutting up a little bit. My guy, I might have to get new uh, spark plugs, regap them. Fuel pressure is good. Alright, what we're going to work on is installing the kick panel, fuse box there. We'll get this uh, ECU standalone computer squared away. Run the serial port. Oh, it's already running through. No, it's not running through. The So what we got, I'll show you real quick, this is my fan switch, and then we have just an aux switch, go ahead and go ahead and get that all fixed up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and solder that, everything else looks good, we got these ground, okay I don't know where it stopped, but yeah, basically I got Resolder that, fan switch, aux switch, install the hub or steering column cover. Pretty simple shit. Was an auto converted to manual. Literally cut the pedal in half, make room for the clutch. You can start the car without the clutch because then you install the switch. I don't think this report is going to save. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, bring it down a little bit more. Bring you guys to my level. This uh, solder gun is actually not too bad. The last few I had were absolutely terrible. I'm talking about like the solder, the wire would literally freeze. It would solidify on the solder tip. So I'm just like, what? Look, it's got some LEDs on it. It's pretty good. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and put it to the side. Let it heat up. I already burned a. You can see. Let's let's loosen this up a little. You can see. Let's see. Right here. We'll zoom in. See that? <laughs> it's where the solder iron uh, fell. Solder gun, whatever you want to call it. All right. Only tools you need. Wire. Dykes or alternative lifestyle pliers. Electrical tape. Should be all you need. And then we'll go ahead and uh, get rid of this filthy tap. Like, that's just. I can't believe I was doing this for a while in the car. We'll let you in on a little secret. I actually used uh, house electrical wiring nuts on my first vehicle and that's what I uh, that's actually what I tied everything together with it was an air bagged car so the entire system no relays none of that stuff you could say I like to live life on the edge Seems like it's ready. Go ahead and cut this. Let's go ahead and Make sure the battery's not plugged in. I'm not trying to get shocked on camera today. Uh, maybe next time I can get shocked for viewers' pleasure. So I don't know if you know how these work. That they pretty much, when you clamp it down, it sends this metal piece and cuts both wires, and then that's how it makes the connection. It's pretty stupid. Don't judge me. Go ahead. Solder that in. Man, this camera sucks. Went ahead and soldered it to it so the wire won't slip out. And then we'll go ahead and tape over it. I'm going to leave this pulled back and tape over it because there's some wire showing. It wasn't. This job, I'm, don't do things the easy way, the quick way. I know people say it. I probably still will just to get the car running or get it where you want it for the week that you have it or just whatever reason. But just remember, you will have to come back and you will be fixing things like this. And I'm just fixing it just as a precautionary.
have to start recording. Um, pretty much going to work on taking off the uh, heat shield here. And when I painted it, I didn't expect to take it off. Turbo heat's starting to damage it. And so I'm going to be taking it off for that reason. But it's red underneath. So I'm going to have to paint that. Um, main reason I'm taking it off is for hood vents. So I'm going to have to be cutting it uh, right there. Cut out that little space there. A little space there and install some hood vents. And uh, hopefully it looks pretty good. But it'll keep some heat from this section. And then I'm only doing the other side for basically symmetrical looks. Sometimes it looks stupid to have one hood vent. But uh, also found out some bad news. Master cylinders leak in from underneath between the booster and the master. So I'm hoping it's just the master side and none of it's getting in the booster, but we'll inspect that when we take that off in a further date. So uh, waiting on a couple things to come in to Nissan, like a uh, fuse box cover, lost that. I have no idea where it's at and pretty sure it's just gone. And then I have the uh, blinker harness or the uh, combination light harness coming in from Nissan. So. We're going to go ahead and get started on that. Hopefully the battery lasts for a while and get some good video. the template never knows best LRB speed hooked it up all right so what I'm doing is Pretty much riveting these in for final install. Sucks though, the rivets that came with it aren't the best. They do the job, but like here, it's pushing it out. When I put it in there, I use pliers to hold it in, but it like mushrooms the opposite way, basically pushes it out. But I'd say it looks pretty decent. Hopefully, you know, it keeps it cool little bit cooler under the hood. I don't have any overheating problems, but there's no reason to make it nice and cool. Uh, but we're here. It's a mess. When you start so many projects, I still got to do the oil uh, oil change. I got this. Where's it at? Oh, don't tell me he sold me that. No, I don't know where it's at. <laughs> I got an oil filter cap that I'm going to use take off the oil filter I just don't know where it's at right now because obviously it's a mess but we'll go ahead and finish installing these this one's already done it looks good not too bad we'll see we'll mount it later all right so unfortunately a lot of my um, videos got messed up corrupted or something so we can't load them um, I'll just go over a walkthrough on how I installed these in the next video and also a couple more things that I did. Uh, work, I'm going to work on getting a better camera or just start using my phone just because it's more reliable for now. But uh, yeah, I uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. Later.